Hey, this is Rossman with The Verge, and we're here at South by Southwest. We are checking out the Leap Motion Controller. We're looking at the final retail consumer product, this little thing right here. It's gonna come May 13th, $80. Uh, so tell me, last time we saw this, we're actually like a much bigger prototype. This is the final deal. Yeah, no, it's all, uh, it's in production. It's uh, looking good. It's uh, final thing, final cables, final uh, pretty much everything. Uh, software is wrapping together now, and developers are starting to push their apps out. We're actually going to check out some of those demos. What are we going to check out first? Uh, we're going to do a clay molding one, and uh, then we're going to do a, a, a fish flocking one, and then we're going to do a, a, a drop cord. Fish flocking. Mm -hmm. Might want to change the name for that. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. Right, so That's what they named it, so. We're doing clay molding. We're doing fish flocking. Yeah. Be very careful how fish, I say that. Yeah. And then we're going to check out Double Fine's drop cord, their music yeah. game for this. Yeah. Also, let's check it out. We're uh, doing some little clay molding right here, kind of pushing some clay in here, kind of doing a little bit of a happy face there. Changing the brush size, pulling a little nose out, maybe moving up, pulling some hair over here, over here, over here. So you're just using, you're basically just using fingers, you're just kind of pointing to get everything kind of yeah. molded. Yeah, and kind of moving my hand around and then kind of move the camera. That's about as much as I could do with actual clay in about five seconds, but it's cool that now that, you know, that first five seconds is total, totally indistinguishable whether you're on the, you know, in the virtual world or the real world. It looks really, it's very, it's very, uh, Rustic Bart Simpson right there. Rustic Bart Simpson. Can yeah. you uh, can you pinch too to pull out the clay, or is it just like uh, one finger? Not in, not no. I can I can pull from different directions. So this sort of like kind of pulling it out. Okay. Kind of like gravitational pull. You just killed him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I try? Uh, sure. Uh, let me reset it for you. Okay. I can even spin it around so you can kind of get a bit of a pottery wheel going here. Okay. And uh, push it in, and here you go, and kind of. All right. This is going to be very embarrassing. You can right. just go ahead and pull, push it, just push it in with one finger. Yeah. There you go. You can kind of hold it in. Okay. So then I can just kind of go right here and yeah, kind of make a base. You just have to just push it a little bit. There you go. There, there you go. There you go. Okay. And then just uh, do little squiggly lines and just say, okay, I pretend I know what I'm doing here. Two at a time. <laughs> Two at a time. There you go. This is exactly what it looks like when I did pottery class. <laughs> this is all right. Let's let's pull out. I'm, I'm afraid to see let's what this out. is. I'll pull out. There we go. Well, yeah, it's that's, beautiful. It's that beautiful. is uh, that is exactly what it looked like in art school. Here we sort of have this uh, uh, 3D you know, AI-driven uh, flock of fish, and you know you kind of, they kind of move around with your hands as if they're sort of being dynamically attracted to them. You can kind of lead them around through the camera, maybe come back out, and then uh, if you move too fast, to scare them away. And you know there's some interesting sort of uh, sort of enabling exploration and uh, interaction with the world at scales or places or depths that people don't have access to uh, okay. normally. And there's some interesting uh, both. Uh, sort of educational and gameplay mechanics to stuff like that. So how do you play this? Uh, they're like these, uh, they're these little circle things that you have to hit, and uh, but then there's other ones that you're not supposed to hit, and it kind of uh, picks up and accelerates through the game. It kind of gets more and more intense and more and more difficult, and there's little bad guys that are just supposed to hit, or you'll see lose points, and you get, it sort of gets more aerobatic. You start like flinging this thing around, and. Uh, it's this is the first. This is the first level. It's like about as tame as it gets. But imagine it, the music and all the gameplay picking up and getting like really intense as you go through, and then kind of spinning things around and sort of doing stuff like that. And uh, it's uh, pretty dynamic and, and and fun. It's sort of an arcade style uh, um, sort of dance right. music game. So wait, you don't want to hear the, the bass drop right there. You don't want to hear yeah, that. The, 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 yeah, the I'm hitting those little bad guys there. That spinning so cool. it around. And uh, everything kind of changes and is dynamic and is different every time you play it. You go through. Yeah, there's, yeah, losing here. Up, 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 up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I lost, but uh, it's pretty cool.